Hey guys, it's Cami. Strap yourselves in. This is bound to be a rambled, chit-chatty mess, but what could be more on brand for me than that? constantly requested to do but rarely if ever actually make our style videos if you take a look back at my channel you'll find maybe one and the reasons why I don't typically do them can boil down to insecurities when I first had the idea of creating my blog one of my biggest fears and stresses was staying trendy staying on style and just keeping up with all of the new hot ticket items if you look at most bloggers that's what they do They're they're constantly posting new outfits every single day. They're things that are out there available right now. Now I love clothing and I love fashion and I even adore trendy pieces, but I don't love the constant pressure to buy new things in order to stay relevant. Also, a lot of those trendy pieces are not only very, very, very expensive, they're also rarely vegan. So then you kind of have to resort to buying cheaper versions of these trendy pieces, which typically isn't very sustainable sustainable and even if you are able to find pieces that are vegan leather they're typically only vegan leather because it's cheaper than the manufacturer to use actual leather and it doesn't mean that that product is in fact vegan just because it's not real leather so it's just this difficult balance of like okay I don't stay trendy or I'm not sustainable or I'm not vegan and it can be confusing and really difficult to uphold your morals and your lifestyle but also stay relevant and trendy and cute. To be fully transparent, I am still on my journey of finding a balance between all of these things and I don't buy products that aren't vegan as far as I'm aware. We'll get into that a little later, but it can be very difficult to know. And I'm absolutely, absolutely guilty for buying fast fashion pieces. I mean, the top I'm wearing right now is from ASOS and I did just recently buy it. I didn't thrift it. I am trying to thrift pieces if I am gonna be buying fast fashion, but hey, I'm absolutely not perfect. With all that being said, that leads me into talking about a really important brand to me and also the sponsor of this video, BC Footwear. I've learned about BC Footwear, uh, I don't know, 10 years ago when I worked at Nordstrom. They were and still are one of my absolute favorite shoe brands, but back then, I didn't really give a crap if something was vegan or ethical or sustainable or any of that. I didn't really even know what any of that meant. I just liked them because they were cute and affordable and stylish. But over the past two years, I have been developing a relationship with BC and learning so much about how wonderful they truly are as a company and all of these strides they're taking to really improve the industry as a whole. So after spending a lot of time understanding the brand and everything that they stand for and their morals and ethics and really seeing how in line they were with my own, I wanted to think of a way to share this brand with you guys since they have come to mean so much to me. And I really wanted to do kind of a spring lookbook style situation. But again, this flared up all those anxieties of what do I do? I need to buy an entire new wardrobe to share all these pieces and make sure they're trendy and everything is new and cool for spring and all of this BS, honestly. And to be honest, I did start to do that. I started to look online and hence why I bought some pieces. And I really started feeling anxious and overwhelmed and wondering what I was doing. And I took a step back and thought, why are you excited to work with this brand? What was the reason why you wanted to share this with your audience? And it was everything against what I had started doing and started buying new things and started to feel that pressure. And I just took a pause. I looked through my wardrobe. I picked some pieces that I would realistically wear on a normal day in the spring in LA. When I'm looking on social media and trying to get ideas for an outfit, very rarely am I specifically picking everything that person wears, going out, buying that and putting that outfit together. I'm using it to get inspired. I'm seeing a specific style of their pant and going in my closet and thinking, oh, that's kind of similar. And I love how they paired it with this top and I have something like that. Or, oh, maybe I want to keep an eye out for something that looks like that. 
that. I don't think we need to be this aggressive consumer society where we are just rebuying all of these new things to emulate a look. Take what you like from that. Buy a specific piece if you love it. If you love the way the jeans look, get those jeans. If you love the way the shoes look, like I'm gonna show you today, buy that specific shoe. But it doesn't always have to be that exact item. And I know that might be really contradictory to what a YouTuber or someone using social media as their job should be saying because at the end of the day, we are selling products to you a lot of the times, but it doesn't have to be like that. I don't wanna sell you on a specific shoe today. I wanna sell you on the concept of this brand and hopefully you guys fall in love with them as much as I do. And when you see them at a store, you reach for that shoe over another one. I know I'm rambling now about consumerism, but we need to be smarter of how we're consuming. It's not gonna change. I love having things. I like to get new stuff, but we can be a lot, a lot smarter with it. One of the biggest things that really drew me into BC Footwear is that they are 100% vegan, PETA certified, and they actually go above and beyond to check themselves. They're not just looking for that certificate so they can put it on all of their products and labels and all of that jazz to draw people in. They are holding themselves accountable because unfortunately, the way that we live right now, there's really nothing to hold brands accountable for being ethical, sustainable, vegan, anything like that. And it's really these personal initiatives by brands, even if it might cost a bit extra money, that makes me reach for their products above anyone else. Something I think a lot of people don't think about and you probably shouldn't have to think about is the glue used in your shoe. Something can be called vegan and the glue in their shoe could have beeswax in it and not be vegan. BC has taken it so far to make sure that they have offices set up where their manufacturers are. It's really hard for brands to make sure everything is being held to the standard that they put in place when their factories are nowhere near their offices. So they're not checking in on that a lot. BC has changed this and they go in, they're regularly checking it, they know their employees, they have a relationship with these people. And I think that makes it so much easier to hold up these ethics and morals when you really let your employees know what you care about, what you stand for, and they care about it as well. So let's finally get into the lookbook and I can tell you guys a little bit more about BC Footwear and hopefully you get inspired from a few of the looks that you see. In this look, you're gonna see me in the shirt I've been wearing nonstop and I'm wearing in this video right now. It's actually a t-shirt dress. I paired it with little biker shorts just to be able to have a little bit more mobility without anything showing. And then I have the Nectar sandal in black and clear. This outfit would be so perfect for like a beach day or a pool day or any fun day that I really hope I have in my near future. <laughs> Here I'm wearing the therapeutic sandal in white and the name is so fitting because these are the most comfortable shoes I think I have ever, ever owned. They're so perfect for just slipping on, running errands, running the dog out, anything that you wanna be comfortable in, but also stylish. These sandals I might be the most excited for because they are so perfect for pride. I mean, the fact that they're jelly sandals are just giving me all those like 90s vibes and I absolutely love that. And then the fact that they are pride sandals is all the better. I'm absolutely gonna wear these every single day in June to every pride parade possible. Next up, we have the shoe I've been wearing pretty much every day for the past two months. It's the Gardenia in tan. I love these because they're a little sandal, but they have a bit of a heel. They're still super comfortable. You don't really feel like you're wearing a heel, but it just makes everything a little bit more put together. You can wear it to something a bit nicer where sandals aren't as acceptable. This is the Pathway shoe in natural exotic. Everyone has been asking me about these and I've been trying to hold off so you guys could be surprised in the video, but it's been so hard. I think these are such a cute take on the whole animal print trend right now. These look so real. I've actually had people ask me like, oh, so you're one of those vegans. And I'm like, no, they're not real. They're fake, I promise. <laughs> but I have similar booties to this. So this is perfect for the spring and the summer to have an open-toed sandal version. These are so, so cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this new take on a lookbook. I really had fun kind of pairing pieces that I had recently bought with old pieces in my wardrobe that I've had forever. I'd love to continue this discussion about consumerism and buying vegan products and not being wasteful and how we can help each other achieve all of those things and become more sustainable as a whole. Feel free to sound off in the comment section below. I will absolutely be trying to respond to as many of you as possible. Don't forget to check out BC Footwear. I will put information and links in the description box below. I love you guys so much and I will see you next week.